The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has deregistered 74 political parties. INEC Chairman Professor Mahmoud Yakubu said 75 parties did not meet its criteria, according to the 2010 Electoral Act as amended by the registered 74. According to him, Nigeria now has less than 28 registered political parties to fit contest future elections. And joining me in the studio this morning to discuss this further is Rahman Adebiyi, Liberation Movement Chairman, and also Dr. Emery Agunwa, a political analyst. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining us this morning. Uh, let me ask firstly, let me start. Um, in the previous elections, we had 92 registered parties, and now INEC has come to the registered about 74 of those parties. Uh, what, your, what are your reactions to this? Well, my reaction to it is I, I think INEC is acting uh, impromptu because for the life of a political party, especially like my party, Liberation Movement, LM, we were only registered of about 15 months ago. And when you reach 15 months ago, the criteria means that one of the criteria for the registration is that you must have participated in all the elections, be it from the presidency, as, uh, national assembly, governorship, and uh, local government. And we've only participated in just about half of it. And we even have a case in court already in one of the elections we participated. So I don't know why INEC is going ahead to say that a, a party that has not satisfied all the requirements is now due for deregistration. So INEC, in this case, from my point of view, uh, need to reverse itself because you, you, you can't set the criteria and against going against those criteria yourself because you are saying that parties who have been in uh, existence for a long time, who have not now win any of all these states, then you can go ahead and register those party. But for my party, it's a young party, it's a platform for young people to, uh, to be able to participate in the political democracy that we've set ourselves. And Nigeria, for the record, is a multi-party state. And when you're in a multi-party state, it means that a political party can come on board. And when a party like us that is young and vibrant, with good people, with, with, with a lot of professionals who are, who are found it opportunity to say, okay, let's begin to express ourselves in these democratic associations, you know, and you now say, because of 2019 election, that uh, we found a lot of flaws, but people just say, okay, let it go by, uh, let it go by, and you're not using that as a yastic to now, uh, you know, deregister a lot of parties, especially the young parties. I think it's, it's not the best interest of Nigerians, it's not the best interest of INEC, and INEC, of course, you can see, a lot of lawsuits flying around now because everybody is taking an egg to court because you can't set the pace like this. And even the constitution that gives you the right states categorically in section 255A and B what you should follow suit and all that. So if INEC is going against those extant law now, I think it's in, in, in some front, it's an affront to judiciary and the rule of law. And INEC must find a way to revert itself. There's no crime in reverting yourself. So INEC must revert itself to status quo and follow due process because due process, we say in this country, must be sacrosanct. Right. And in, in ensuring due process, INEC must endeavor to lead by example as an umpire who is, by, who is not biased, who is not being influenced by the ruling government or the federal government, who is going to serve the interests of all, nation, all Nigerians as a whole. All right, just all your thoughts there, Dr. Amir, if I come to you, let's, let's take a look at this. Tell me that 16 political parties have fulfilled the requirements for existence based on section 225A of the 1999 constitution as amended. 75 political parties did not satisfy the requirements of the fourth alteration to the constitution. However, one of the political parties, the Action People's Party, filed a suit in court and obtain an order restraining the commission from deregistering it. Consequently, the party remains registered pending the determination of the case by the court. The new political party, Boot Party BP, registered by court order after the 2019 general election, will continue to exist. Accordingly, 74 political parties are hereby deregistered. With this development, Nigeria now has 18 registered political parties. 
Our next chairman there, Mahmoud Yakubu. Um, Dr. Miri, you heard him rightly when he said what he said, and reasons given why these 74 political parties were deregistered. Would you say this is a step in the right direction at this moment? Absolutely. I, I think uh, Nigeria needs something like this. We need a, lot of, a little bit of sanity in the political party space. We have 91 political parties, yeah. and plus the boot party after the election that made it 92. I think there's a whole lot going on. And uh, for some reasons, I think a, um, the, the government, government has um, put it in the policy that they want for you to continue to remain a party, you're going to win at least a award. And um, I think if a party can't get a award, they reserve the right to, um, to merge with another party or stand to be the registered. Um, I know a lot of emotion, emotions are uh, in it. You start up something, government um, starts up to um, pack you up. But I think uh, if, if a party sets out to win, few words, yes. I mean, they should have a case to me. But if you don't um, win any word, I think you, you, you should be happy to be the registered. Uh, Rachman, I know you want to react to that, but prior yeah. to elections, these parties were registered. There was a reason why they were registered. There were criteria laid down for their registration. And so if part of the criteria was for them to ensure that they win a word or get a seat in the House and they didn't meet it, do you think Anik is wrong for taking this move? Yeah, yeah I think Anik is wrong for taking this move, and I'll tell you why. Because Anik said, like he said, you know, quoting Anik, he said a word. Yeah. The question is, have we done local government election in the whole of the federation. No. We have about five states governorship elections still outstanding, Edo Anambra, you know, Ekiti, Oshun, and what have you. Those are still outstanding. So immediately that negates that information. Then we have local government election. My party is just about 15 months old. We've not, we only participated in one local government election, and that was in Patani, in Bayesa State. And the matter of that determination of the result of that is still in court. So, and we have other local government elections that are still due, a lot of them, because we have not participated in any of, except the one I mentioned. So you can now see why INEC is saying that we follow due process. You understand? So does due process mean that you truncate the process in between, or you abrogate the right that, okay, you perceive that they've gone through uh, these elections, and then you now sanction them to say, okay, I removed you because I perceive that you are not going to f fulfill or win any local government election. And the law is clear in its extent. He said one word, one word. Yes. And I, as I neck been able to fulfill, to say to all Nigerians that all these political parties that are new have been able to participate in the elections of local government for them to satisfy that they did not win one word. I think we, we have to be emph emphatic of that statement. One word is what has been said there. Okay. And as one word, uh, uh, completion of election in all the 774 local government in Nigeria, as it will fulfill, no. So in, in this instance, I think INEC should take a look at it and you know, find a way to reverse itself. Okay, but interestingly, INEC has soon responded that they will continue to register parties so long as they meet constitutional requirements. Um, and this to me seems like they're not necessarily interested in actually reducing the number of parties we have um, in, to, to participate in the political space. But the question here is, are we likely to see a situation where more parties will spring up and do all it takes to meet the requirements? We were at the INEC verification in Abuja yes. just about a month ago, yeah, about, and my party featured the 35 uh, uh, states, all the states we have chairmen and even including FCT. So that is part of the requirement. We were able to fulfill that process. And at the same time, we were registered just two days before the primary elections were done, uh, was, was, was announced. And we participated in that election with that little timeline. And I can tell you, most both, that we were number three in a lot of the places we, even at some local government, we were number two. So are you saying that the party will put up that amount of effort, amount of knowledge, amount of intellectual capacity in that short time it does not know what it takes? In other uh, climb, you find that some parties begin to grow they begin to grow organically up until that point. PDP has been in government for over 20 years. APC has been in government for over eight years, about eight years now. So what are we talking about? Are you saying that those parties do not have the right to enjoy that, that luxury of time to, to fulfill this responsibility? Of course they have. Okay. So you can't just begin to shut them in between because you say that you want to reduce. And have we not fulfilled the criteria? Yes, we fulfilled those criteria. So for you to say, okay, this party that has been registered just two days before the 
primary elections of 2019 general election has been proscribed, then something I, I can you know, see, yeah, I can yeah. see you're very passionate about uh, uh, about this. Yes, it. Dr. Mary, you want to react to absolutely. Yeah. I think there's nothing, there's no reason to be emotional about this. Okay, absolutely no reason to be emotional. One word or 25 percent of votes in your, in any state. Mm. Okay, these these things are spelled out. Okay, and I'm saying, and I'm saying that uh, the the aim of INEC is not to reduce political parties; is to have viable political parties. active participators. Yes. yes, and and what we are having here, uh, we have a whole lot. That if there's a case, you go to court, and when you get a court, you get a court injunction saying you can you cannot deregister me. You can see about the other uh, about the other party that was not deregistered. Because if you have a case, you go to court. But look at it logically. I look at this, if we're going to be a progressive country, the, com the policy says one word. And if someone says, if you get one word, you still stand a chance to be a political party. If the party puts all their effort to get one word, Okay, now th this brings me to the argument that it's in some quarters that um, INEC needs to manage elect election process adequately and um, political parties should be reduced to significantly, you know, they should be reduced significantly, maybe to two. Uh, do you think that will actually apply in, in Nigeria if to have a two-party system? The, 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 our constitution begets on us democracy and democracy begets multi-party. So for you to say you are reducing to two, it means that you're going against democracy that is included in our constitution. So for people advocating for that, I think uh, we need to enlighten Nigerians the beauty of multi-party system, okay. the beauty of going into election and participating at different stratas. You understand? And when people have not participated at different stratas and you shortchange them, it means that you, there's an ulterior motive behind those moves because you, it means that you intentionally want to, them to have effort in fertility because you put them on the cart and the next minute they've not even fulfilled all uh, participated in all the elections that Nigeria 774 local government does require and you shut them in between and they say and you say to them they cannot participate okay. and don't forget that we have five local uh, governorship elections coming forward that we are already preparing to us we already put everything in, in place to you know to address same thing for the local government elections that are coming up in some states so are you saying that because they have not fulfilled one word, which even if you go by that statement and 25%, have you given them the opportunity to participate in these elections? No. So why would you register a party? Because they've not fulfilled this requirement. And you're going ahead to register another party. What, okay, what that means is that because we were registered uh, about 15 months ago before the election, and you shut us out because of one general election that Nigerians have seen what happened, that money politics is exactly what's played out in this uh, election and a lot of toggery. And then going for that, if you register a party today, which is before election, are you saying that 2023 election will be the yastic for criteria? Make it clear in the constitution. Okay. Set it out clear yeah, so that don't, Nigerians yeah. will not be, uh, you know, there won't be any ambiguity in what we're talking okay. about. Now, um, some of the deregistered parties have reacted to INEC, the registration of them. Do you think they have a case, doctor? I mean, everybody has the right to have a case. Do you think they have a case based they, on the, yes, they the, do the have reasons given for yes. their deregistration? There are a lot of cases, logical cases, emotional cases, yeah. um, totally sentimental cases. Yeah, this, how, this whole factors needs to be put into place. Okay, people spend a lot of money, got a lot of things in place, and here we are, you deregister them. They, they have a case. But like, the question you asked earlier, Okay, do we need two party system? No, we don't need two party system. Okay. We need ideological driven parties. So what it means is that if we have ten parties and they have basically the same ideology, then INEC will say we've got this ideology before. We need to have all of you under one umbrella, okay? That, democracy doesn't mean uh, 500 parties. I mean, that's, that's madness okay. for in my own take. Now, yeah. Ragman at ABU, this is it. We have 18 parties so far cleared by INEC. Don't you think this number is still too much? I think, I think it's not too much if we compare ourselves to the democracies of the world. If you go to all the see, Nigerians need to be educated. Go to the U.S., go to other places. You think there is two party. No, it's not true. If you go down the line, you see that some parties are only holding to some, some word, some county, and what have you. 
So in, but, in, but when it comes to presidential election, you find only those two parties. Those other parties will feed into the, those two parties to produce a presidential candidate. And that's what people have been doing. And in, so the, the, the basis of comparison is not there for Nigeria because they have perfected their system to a point in which they give freedom of association to people. And to, to uh, quickly talk on what he said, to, to the fact that people are being emotional. I think here, ev ev everybody's approaching the court. There's nothing like emotion. Because in politics, you go straight by the rule. And you ensure that you, when you are not satisfied, like in our case, we're already heading to court. So there's nothing emotional about it. We need just to be factual and you know, remove all sentiment about it. Because in Nigeria, for our democracy to grow, for us to espouse the dividend of democracy that we've set out for ourselves, we must begin to behave and develop a democracy in such a way that it will become very robust and more people, more people, right. like I say, Ra Man more Adebi, participants will come out and join force and Liberation change movement the equation chairman. of this country. Thank you very much. We're out of time. And also Dr. Emery Agunwa, thank you very much sure. for being part of thank the you. morning news.